Hey guys, what's up? So do you see anything different in my room today? I bet you do. So there are two laptops sitting behind me. One is my normal Strix G15 and the other is the Zephyrus G15. So this video is about the Zephyrus G15. Uh, I'll do a review of this laptop. I'll show you around this laptop. What are the specs? What are the features of this laptop? And in some other videos, I'll compare both of these laptops. I'll also tell you if it's worth buying a Zephyrus G15 or the normal Strix G15. So first of all, I'll tell you who this laptop belongs. This is my friend's laptop. He bought it from the UK and it costed him about 2 lakh rupees. So my Strix G15 costed about 175, 1 lakh 75,000. So this guy cost 25,000 more than my G15. So we'll see if 25,000 rupees extra for Zephyrus G15 worth it or not. So, first impressions, uh, the top panel is all plastic. Uh, my G15 has a metallic panel and I f honestly feel that the feel of G15 is much better than that of Zephyrus 15. Like this feels solid, this feels like a metal, but this is all plastic, this is cheap plastic. Uh, so yeah. But if you see it, then, you know, the, you can always see the iridescent patterns which are engraved on the top panel. And this kind of vibes with the gaming laptop theme of this laptop. So this is what it looks. And here they have just engraved a plaque, which I'll just show you. So this is a metallic plaque. It says uh, Republic of Gamers established 2006. I don't know what significance does it has. Maybe just to make the owner feel a bit special. Let's see around this. What ports do we have? So this is your USB port. This is your SD card slot. This is your air intake. And at the back, you have these two air exhausts. And these are the same as in G15. Like here you see, my Z15 also has the same air exhaust at the back. Uh, and I think the heat ventilation system is kind of the same in both the laptops. But there is this big difference that Zephyrus does not have any posts, any switches at the back. But my G15 does. So that's kind of a good thing. Like whenever I'm plugging some type C's, uh, the charger in my G15, I always have to go around the laptop and then plug in. So that's kind of an inconvenient thing. But in this, you get all the ports at the sides. So this is your charging port. This is your HDMI. This is your LAN port. This is your USB again. And there are two type C's. And this is your headphone jack. Now, these two type C's are a really good thing because in my G15, I always face a problem like with just one type C. So two type C's are always better than one. And there is one peculiar thing, one biggest difference between this G15 and this Zephyrus G15. In my G15, there is this LED RGB strip going at the bottom of the laptop. So whenever I turn this laptop on, uh, there is this RGB halo uh, below the laptop. Here you see this halo. But in Zephyrus, you don't have any of that. Whenever you turn the Zephyrus, you don't have any LED strip at the bottom. So that's kind of a weird thing because you are paying 25,000 rupees extra and you are not getting stuff that you get in G15. That's what it is. So let's just open this bad boy and let's see how this looks. So let's try it lifting with one hand. And yeah, you can easily lift it with one hand. So the weight distribution on this laptop is good. Uh, you can also do it with the G15. So they both can be lifted with one hand. And there is a neat trick that I'm seeing. The bottom portion, this keyboard rises. And this is just for you to have a normal typing experience. The palm is not facing just completely parallel to the floor. It's a bit tilted. So this gives it a more natural feel. Just try to concentrate on the keyboard part. 
I'm just opening it like this. Not now. Now. Now see. You see? There is this tilt which it which happened in this laptop and it gives it a very good typing experience. I'm still seeing all the cheap plastics running around the keyboard and the screen. Uh, I really don't want to demean this laptop or but when I really compare it with my G15, I can see a world of difference. Like when I open my G15, uh, they're also plastic. But honestly, guys, this plastic feels very smooth compared with this plastic. This is very rough plastic. The screen around the screen. This is also a smooth plastic, but this is a very hard, jaggedy kind of plastic. I'll just show you closely. You can see the roughness on this screen panel and now take a look at the panel near this G15. This is a smooth panel. You see this is a smooth panel but that is a rough panel. So in the case of quality of the materials I think Zephyrus does not stand close with the Strix series. In the G15, you have RGBs around the keyboard, but this guy has just a single lighting effect. It does not has the RGBs. If you take all the plastic stuff away, then just look at the screen, man. This screen is perfect. This is, ladies and gentlemen, this is a 2K screen, 2560 by 1440p. This is a 2K panel and I'm really miss, I really miss a 2K screen on my G15. G15 has only a full HD panel 1080p. So a lot of games are now utilizing a 2K panel. So really this screen is better than that of G15. This is a 165 Hertz 2K panel. Let's see how is the typing experience. This feels to the point. It does not has that clickiness that my G15 has. Let me just also show you how does my G15 clicks. I will still say that the keyboard of G15 sounds better. Expensive things do not always mean they are perfect in every sense. Trackpad, I think both have the same features. Both are the same. Uh, even the size is also the same so yeah not a big not much difference but the speakers there's a difference in the placement of the speakers Zephyrus has these speakers at the front near the keyboard but G15 has it on the back side at this place these are the speakers in G15 but in Zephyrus they are on the keyboard also have the armory crate which uh, Asus puts in and puts it in every laptop so all the features are the same like you have the aura creators you can just change the aura creator stuff like that but you cannot change the RGB because it, just, it does not support any RGB I guess so now let's just have a weight comparison uh, how much these two guys weight first the Zephyrus so Zephyrus weighs about the same like two kilos now let's compare it with G15. Uh, I think G15 is much heavier. Yeah, so G15 weighs 2.2 kilograms. There is a difference of 280 grams and I can already feel it. Uh, G15 is heavier than the Zephyrus. And the reason is simple. The quality of materials used on G15 is far better than Zephyrus. It's metal. The panel is metallic, but this is all plastic. So now I'll tell you the specs of this Zephyrus. So the CPU is Ryzen 9 5900HX, the same as in G15. Uh, the GPU is RDX 3080. So 3070 is in G15 and 3080 is in Zephyrus. The RAM are the same, 16 gigs DDR4 RAM. The SSDs are the same, 1 TB SSD. So now the question comes that is it worth spending 2 lakh rupees on Zephyrus? 
like in 175 you can have g15 and in 165 you can have advantage edition uh, advantage edition has an rtx 6800m uh, that chip is much powerful than rdx 3070 but it's less powerful than this rdx 3080 if you don't care about the materials if you really have nothing to do with the materials first is worth buying in two lakh rupees given a choice between g15 and advantage i think you should always go with advantage edition comparison between advantage edition and zephyrus uh, there's a difference of 35,000 rupees is a difference of 35,000 rupees worth it it's not really much of a deal like 6800m really is a good chip you really don't have to spend 35,000 rupees extra for rdx 3080 uh, even the screen in Advantage Edition is better than that of G15. So if you are planning to go with Advantage Edition, then you should go. Don't even think about the Zephyrus. So that was it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know in the comments below what would you like to buy. Uh, would you still prefer Zephyrus G15? Or you would prefer some other laptops like the G15 Advantage Edition or the normal Strix G15. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video on the Zephyrus G15.